water pollution or dirty water is no longer just an environmental issue. It's becoming more and more actually a political issue, an economic issue, and a social issue. Uh, water pollution uh, is uh, becoming uh, a political issue because it's more and more becoming uh, the legitimate issue for government, for any political leaders to, to govern. If they fail to do so, uh, it, it basically cancels their legitimacy to be in that in office. Uh, economic uh, issue is also obvious uh, because we're polluting uh, water, and uh, so we have to invest to spend so much money in it in order to get to drink clean drinking water. For the social element there, uh, as uh, demonstrated in some parts of the region, for instance in China, we have uh, about 100-ish uh, cancer villages. Uh, people are concerned and the people are weakening. And uh, if the government leaders or business leaders do not come together to address the issue, it's going to become a very prominent social issues there. Uh, I think uh, Asia, uh, with the current unprecedented uh, growth rate, uh, we are given a huge opportunity there to address the water pollution issue. Uh, on the one side, uh, I do understand that we have the legacy of uh, the water polluted already. We need to deal with them. We need to treat the water. We need to you know, strengthen the laws, regulations, and standards, make sure they're enforced uh, to control the pollution sources. I think from the policy perspective, pricing of water, resource, water use and water discharge uh, needs to be really brought up to the top level of agenda there. So water is no longer cheap. And we have to make sure we need to develop policy incentives together to drive the actions towards the uh, sustainability. If there are solutions out there, that would be great. But the reality tells us uh, it's very limited. So at this moment, it really has to be brought up to, to the top leadership to make sure decisions made at the very top level to balance the relationship between energy and water. In the meantime, more focuses should be built upon to de develop renewable energies like solar water, uh, that wind, solar, renew other renewable energies there. And they are available today, and we just need the policy incentives to drive towards that direction. Today is the time that leaders have to make decisions based on the sustainability issue. You have to look at the ecosystem's carrying capacity before you make any economic development decisions. And that's the core, and that has to be mainstream at this moment. So the vision is very set, set very, very clearly, but how do we get there? That remains a challenge and requires a lot of work and resources, and in particular all the stakeholders coming together to address the puzzle.